thing is really, I, I think the eye opener for, for most businesses when they're in that simple growth mastermind room is, wow, as a business owner, you're doing 10 or 12 different things. And you can't continue to do it because you're going to get bottlenecked. Um, yeah. But I love the fact that you talked about going in in very specific skill sets where Garrett Matthews, one of our, um, we were just over at his place last week it, or two weeks ago for the Holiday Light Roundtable. Um, he's gotten very specific. So he had some very generalist marketing people. Now he's got Michael and a couple of people that are literally dialed into certain parts of marketing where another girl in the office does nothing but literally Excel sheets and budgets and data 40 hours a week. I mean, they, her and I spoke the same language, but like that was her thing. Um, and, and that's what's allowed him to scale, you know, up to 6.5 million and beyond because he started to take generalists and figure out where their native genius was or eventually just replace them and go out and actually acquire those skill sets. And that um, is we're starting to see in the masterminds room right now, like that's happening uh, with a lot of these companies. So it's it's been really interesting. But just that simple um, be able to get that on the wall and visually see it. And I think the other thing, Brett, that a lot of folks gain from that exercise too is, well, I'm, I'm at 3 million and I want to be at 6 million in three years. Wait a minute. I'm going to actually need how many trucks, how many employees. And as you start to back that into a client acquisition cost, what it costs you to acquire a client, they're like, well, wait a minute. I don't, I don't have the cash flow to do that quite yet. So it also puts a perspective in there as we dial into those annual quarterly plans. Yeah, we, we've set this goal, but can we actually back into it based on the resources of what we've got? And I yeah, think we did that early. Yes. And, and rather than uh, thinking, about can we act, actually back into it? It was like, what investments would we have to make to make that possible? Like, how could we create that? Because you, you don't want to just look back to what you already know, because you'll just straight line the progress and, and it won't be. The, the significant jump you're trying to make. So sometimes we're declaring a bigger, hairier, audacious, more audacious goal so that we have to invent the new way to get there. 